once you understand the rules for parallel connection, it's possible to do calculations. So here we've been given a circuit. There's a 12 volt battery, a current of five amps being measured in that circuit and then three resistors in parallel with each other and one resistor of unknown resistance with a voltmeter connected over it. So our first problem to solve is always to calculate the equivalent parallel resistance and we do that by saying that we know that 1 over the parallel equivalent is equal to 1 over each resistor. So 1 over the 3 ohm, 1 over the 2 ohm, 1 over the 1 ohm resistor, which we find comes to a total of 11 over 6. But we want the parallel resistance, so we say the parallel resistance is therefore equal to 6 over 11, or 0 0.55, simplified or rounded to two decimal places. What we can do next is we can calculate the voltage that is being used over this parallel set. So just to make it easier to visualize, we can draw in a voltmeter here that's called VP, the voltage over the parallel set. And we can calculate that by saying that we know that voltage is always equal to the product of the resistance between the two points. In that case, or in this case, it is RP multiplied by the current passing through those points, which we've been told is 5 amps, that is the current, and we get 0 0.55 ohms multiplied by 5 amps. That tells us that the voltage over the parallel circuit or parallel connection is 2.75 volts. Once we've done that, we can calculate the voltage measured over or measured by V1 because we know that the total voltage provided by the battery, being 12 volts, must be equal to the sum of the two voltages that are used in this circuit. In this case, that is V1 plus V parallel. Again, we know that the total voltage provided by a battery must be used in that external circuit, and there are only two places where it can be used, V1 and VP. So we were told the battery has a voltage of 12 volts, V1 is our unknown, and the parallel voltage we just calculated as 2.75 volts, which allows us to solve to find that V1 must have a voltage of 9.25 volts. Once we have this, we can now calculate what this unknown resistance is here, because we know that resistance is always equal to the voltage that's measured over that resistor divided by the current passing through that resistor, we know that current in a series circuit remains constant. So in this case, that is the voltage V1, which we've just calculated as 9.25, divided by the current, which we were told was 5 amps, which tells us that the resistance of that unknown resistor must be 1.85 ohms. Finally, what we could also be asked here is we could be asked to calculate the current that is passing, passing through each part of this parallel set. So we can start by calculating the current passing through the 1 ohm resistor. And we do that because we know that current is always equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. And we know that voltage in parallel is constant, meaning the voltage over each one of those resistors remains the same. So we can say that the voltage we know is 2.75 divided by that 1 ohm resistor. That means the current passing through the 1 ohm resistor is 2.75 amps. We can then also calculate the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor with the same calculation, except now knowing that the voltage remains the same, but the resistance changes. So it's now 2.75 divided by 2, which we find is 1.375, which we obviously then round to 1.38 amps. And then finally, we can calculate the voltage through the 3, three ohm resistor. And same calculation, voltage is current is equal to the parallel voltage, which we know remains constant, divided by that resistance. Again, parallel voltage 2.75, resistance now 3, meaning that the current passing through that resistor is then 0. 92 amps. We can check that this is correct by seeing whether these three currents add up to make up that total amount of current and we find that uh, the current that is passing through the 1 ohm resistor plus the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor plus the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor 
is equal to 2.75 plus 1.38 plus 0.92 and we find that gets us to a total current of 5.05 amps. The reason why there's a slight difference between those two is obviously because we've rounded our answers as we go.